Okay, so let's um, take a look at the program here. This is part one. Here's the assignment. Delegates assignment part one. We're going to do that one. I'm going to use A, B, and C in my program so that you can see which one we're working on. So I'll write a program using variable procedures to form the operations listed below. Call these procedures using delegates and make sure the document your program and have the program print descriptive text along with the numbers in B and C. And I'll show you how to do that. And we want to make sure to use delegates. So, all right. So, up here, I started using delegates. So, um, this is kind of declaring that I'm going to use them. This is assigning some variables to delegates. This is assigning the character or the address of the function below, right, to the delegate, right? So, part A, part B, part C. And this is where I actually call the functions below. So basically, part A will go to greeting character. Oh, I have them out of order, don't I? <laughs> Let me see. Um, one second. Let me pause. Oh, it doesn't matter. So reverse, part A is reverse. I should say part B. So we do A, B, C. So... We're going to do the greeting character first. I'm just going to move this up so they're in order. There you go. All right, now they're in order. All right, so part A, the greeting character, is what I called the function. So printing the number of characters in a string. So first thing I put is a right line statement that says enter a string to count its characters, right? So then what I do is I declare a variable called text string and I ask for the input from the user okay and I want to declare that as a string because it's a string of characters that you're bringing in next um, I'm gonna output right I want to output the length of the string we'll count the number of characters and assign that to a variable okay so in order to do that um, what I did was I just used this length function here put text string inside it's gonna count what's in text string it's going to count the number of characters and store that number. And I know I declared that as an integer, right? Because output is going to store a number of characters in the string. So then when I print it out, I use there are, I put a space here, and then I use the and symbol. Output is the um, output that we're trying to do of the length, characters in the string. Okay. Next, we're going to reverse. So reversing the characters, this is part B. Oops. So reversing the string, I do the same thing. I ask for a character, I ask for something from the user, I assign it to text string, and now I'm gonna assign a new variable reversed. This one I probably could have combined this whole statement, but it's gonna be kind of confusing for you guys. But I did them separately. Reverse input and assign to variable. So this is the function here. String reverse, dollar sign, and then text string, and then it assigns that string to reverse. Now this time I call reverse a string, because it's going to be a string of characters. So I'll console dot right line. The string is reversed. The string in reverse is, and I put and, and then reversed is the fun, is the character. Is I'm sorry, is the string of characters. So it's in a print in reverse. So the next one is number part C. Part C, we're going to count the number of words in the string. Okay. All right, no problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter the string just like I did before. Set them with text string. I actually copy pasted that. Like it's you can reuse those first two lines on each one of them. Um, I use a new variable, and again, just like when I counted the, the characters, I counted the number of characters. I'm going to count the number of words, so I'm going to use it as an integer. It's going to give me a number. So I'm going to split text string dot split right. Split it up, and every space that it sees, it's going to count that length, right? The number of spaces, okay? So count the number of words and assign that to a variable. So then I just print it out here and do a read key just so that it will pause and I can read it. So I'm going to run it. Enter a string to count its characters. I'm just going to put an easy one. This is the end. <laughs> um, there are 15 characters in the string. Now enter a string. To work with okay so we're gonna 
interesting to work with. And this one, we're going to put this is the end. All right, now it's going to string is in reverse is, see what I did? Now it's enter a string to work with. I'm going to type in um, this is the end. The string has four words in it. Okay, so now you see how it works. Now one thing I'm probably going to need to do is where it says enter a string to work with, I'm going to give it a little bit more there than just enter a string to work with. So in reverse, instead of enter a string to work with, I'm going to put enter a string so we can reverse the, so we can reverse it. Good enough. The last one is enter a string so we can count the number of words. So let's run it real quick. I'll do a shorter string called the end. Seven characters, reverse it. The end. Good. Now, number of words, the end should be two. Good, two words in it. So now you see how I do it. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, bye.